morning and happy Monday everybody. We are off to Granny's house. Well the boys, I'm not going I'm not gonna go and play at Granny's but I have a lot of things to do because we're leaving tomorrow. Yeah, Alfie still yeah, doesn't yeah, have yeah. any spots, so yeah, it's looking yeah, very yeah, promising. Yeah. Now we just need to hope he doesn't wake up with loads of spots tomorrow. Yeah, and yeah, it just yeah, needs yeah. <laughs> sorry. Um I have a lot of things to do today. I need to go to Tesco's, I need to clean the house, I need to do some laundry, I need to finish packing, I need to do some editing, I need to wash my hair, which is a mess right now, I need to remove hair from my body, and I need to bring these monkeys to their granny's house. Owen might be slightly excited today. Um, I'm is, but I'm more excited about going to fun because we haven't went in. Very, 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 very long time. Yes. Right. Let's go to Granny's. Yeah, 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 yeah. The boys have been dropped off. I figured I was just going to do Tesco's now. It's beside James's mom's. And at least then after that, I don't need to get out again. Well, at least I don't think so. I can do all the stuff in the house. I haven't had any breakfast or and I don't have much for lunch in the house. So i'm gonna get like a brunchy type of thing when i'm in tesco's to just bring home uh we have literally no food in the house so we have a bit of ham and we have the leftovers from the chains from yesterday and we have two pizzas for the boys for tonight all the rest we have um gone through to be able to leave and not waste the food um so yeah um i I'm hoping to have, uh, to, you know, to get stuff done and be able to have some relaxing time before we go. I always get, because usually the packing is very rushed and I get really stressed out with trying to get everything done and all that. There, because there's been the weekend and it's only one day where I'm on my own, it's a bit more relaxed. And I'm just going to take get some me time before we go because I got quite a lot done yesterday and fingers crossed nothing. I mean, we've had enough stress over can we go or not with the boys. Alfie is showing absolutely no signs of chicken pox yet. Um, that tiny spot he had uh, is now completely like fading, so it's not getting worse. I think if it was chicken pox, it would get worse given how it's been for Owen. Um, and still nothing, so fingers crossed he doesn't wake up in the morning with spots all over his face and everything. We'll see after that from the moment we have landed and we're there. It's it's doable. So I'm gonna go and buy some wheat and bread because my sister, who is potentially gonna give birth anytime this week, uh, has been craving it. So I'm gonna bring her some because it doesn't exist in France. I don't even know if it exists in the UK mainland. I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh so I'm gonna get that and um I need to get a few more, my brunchy kind of thing. And I think that's it. Yeah. Um I might get a few snacks for the trip. But uh, yeah, and then I'll go home. I am gonna, I've put the laundry on before I left. I'm probably gonna start by doing all my editing. So then that's done. And then I will get more cleaning and tidying done and finish packing. Yeah. And yeah, some relaxation. I I think I'm gonna, I've put the hot water on before I left. So then I could have a nice long shower, do my hair. I might do a face mask and maybe a hair mask as well. Might as well go, you know, the whole I have a, I have the day to myself, so yeah, I might do that. <laughs> Keep you updated anyway. Tesco's time. Just back home and I was faced with this. I completely forgot I had thrown all the laundry from stairs here. Uh, I've just put all the stuff I've bought here. I'm gonna do a mini haul for you. So um, one of my friends, uh, well, a couple, like, like one of my friends who's a boy, got married to a girl who's also now my friend, and they have a daughter who's Owen's age, and I. Got that for her her birthday is in may but we kind of do christmas and the birthdays whenever we see each other so i got her this uh she doesn't know shopkins and i thought they are so popular here she needs to know shopkins and she has a little sister who is about 18 months may not even actually i think she was born early may can't remember but over a year old and i got her thing, uh, this i don't think you can go wrong with duplo and i checked she didn't have it I got wheat and bread for my mum and my two sisters. I got myself some little notebooks because, well, they had bears on them. And bears are my favourite animals and they were so cute. And um, I, I kind of hoard small notebooks. I just do. Uh, I bought this, which is really unhealthy but looked very appealing. And then I bought myself two books. I do have a Kindle. Uh, well, I use now the Kindle app on my tablet whenever I go to France. But there's something about a paper book, paperback book for the holidays. So I got, they had two for seven, 
pounds on a selection and I have no idea, I've never heard of this book but I thought it looked interesting from the, the thing at the back and this, um, I have heard a lot of good things about this book and it seems like the nice, a nice summer read so I'm going to bring those books with me so I have some books to read so then yeah, I'm going to have to really do something about the packing and there on this side you have a selection of the things I'm going to use um, today I had bought them before I've just leave, leave, left, uh, left them sitting there um, so I'm going to have a bit of food oh and also very interesting it's not meant to go in my suitcase I bought these <laughs> that's so interesting isn't it we ran out of air fresheners in both the toilets upstairs and downstairs so i bought two because they were on offer and I, I don't even know what they smell like i tried to sneakily spray a little bit mm, that's really nice um a little bit in the shop but there was a man stocking shelves right beside me so i didn't manage to smell discreetly properly but that's, that's, that's what i imagined so it's good it smells very nice and fresh and a little bit floral too, just in case. Like you're so interested in what my toilets smell like when I spray them. That's so interesting. Anyway, can I have a bit of food and wait for this laundry load to be done? Probably start my editing and a little bit of relaxation. It is 20 past 11, so I still have plenty of time. So after a lot of rubbish timing for stuff lately, my little box has just turned up today and I have not even one o'clock yet my living room is almost tidy I'm gonna clean all the living room and the kitchen and then uh, upstairs is already clean I am going to basically take care of myself because I can't do a video with that greasy hair and um, once my hair is dry and all I can film the video edit it and schedule it to be released while I'm away so this is perfect I'm so glad and I'm really excited. I have. I, I actually don't even know the theme or anything, so I'm not going to open anything because this. I really want to know what's in there, so this is going to keep me efficient. I have. I'm just in the middle of. We have a TV unit like this, and the doors are so grubby. Uh, we have white furniture all around the house. The plan was that we would paint the walls different colors, but. We would take all our furniture white because then it can go with any color and it means we can easily change the colors of the walls uh, and accessories and it always goes with the furniture if you know what i mean um it means they are not the easiest to keep clean they go grubby very quickly but then i thought in the future even if they are the paint is really bad or anything i can always re like give them another coat of paint that's no problem <coughs> but i never realized until i sat down at the level of the boys how disgusting it was so i'm using my trusted um method spray as you can see i've been using it quite a bit um i used the bathroom one as well i hadn't tested the bathroom one properly i've used it to clean all the bathroom and i'm impressed that even without harsh chemicals it actually really cleans things a lot people are going to think start to think i'm sponsored by them but no i genuinely love this and also another thing i absolutely love which i hadn't tried much before but it happened to be on offer so I tried it it's for the laundry while we are talking about cleaning now I've always used excuse the noise because I have the, the washing going I have been using this a lot of the time and I decided to give this a go to see how good it was I had got one sample once in my Tesco delivery and I was convinced that it had cleaned the laundry better and made it fresher and the colors were brighter and all that but because I had only tried it once I wasn't sure if it was a coincidence or anything and this was on offer half price the other day so I thought sure I'll take that because it ended up cheaper than my usual one it's amazing I love it so much so I think I am gonna make the switch uh, yeah, but for now, I'm going back to my furniture. I've scrubbed all this, but I don't know if you can see the difference. I've scrubbed this part, but I haven't scrubbed that. Can you see how disgusting it is? Yeah, it is absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to finish this. The living room is done. It's all wet, so I can't walk there. I'm going to. I'm just using the proper mop. I usually use a steam mop, 
but um, I just want to clean a good, to do a good clean while I can and I can let it dry as long as I need. Alfie's room is not all clean. I hadn't done the floors yet, so I'm doing the floors now. Okay, so the bathroom is done. Um, these are all the Playmobil I've put aside that we are going to sell, but <laughs> Alfie keeps taking them out. So we've hidden them on top of there for now. Um, but yeah, that's another room done. Our bedroom is done. I just need to wait. This pile of things as pillows and quilt. I need to wait for the mattress protector to be and the pillow protectors to be dry. And then I can put the sheets back on. And this is clothes that I'll just kind of need to put away. The bathroom is done. And Owen's room is done. I just need to change the bed after. I officially just have the kitchen left to do. I'm really glad. I'm gonna get a little break because I am wrecked. I haven't stopped, but I'm so happy with how much I got done. So I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna do some editing. And then once everything upstairs is, is uh, dry, I'll go and have a shower and shave my legs and wash my hair and all that. Um, I need to have some food as well. It's already half two. It's crazy how time flies in whenever you have time on your own and you're doing stuff. But I'm very pleased with the house and the state it is now. It's the first time we go on holidays and I managed to actually clean it the way I want before we leave and it feels great. So yeah, sometimes everything happens for a reason and I think if I didn't have that amount of stress yesterday over can we leave, uh, I wouldn't have managed to get that much done because I was under the power of adrenaline probably and yeah it's great so editing at least that's one video done and then I'll film my little box video and edit it tonight in front of the TV I also need to finish the suitcases properly almost everything is in there um, I just need to double check everything and close them and then the hand luggage will finish like the last few things will go in in the morning because it's like tablets and laptops and stuff we use um we'll use tonight but you can't really i can't like sitting down in a very clean and fresh smelling living room is amazing i have a problem i have lost my phone in my house and when i ring it where it's on silent so there's only the vibrate thing i cannot hear it so I'm starting to panic slightly. I've checked inside the, the mop bucket and everything. I've been carrying it around with me in the house. And I can't hear it anywhere. <sighs> right, the search continues. I couldn't find my phone and I got fed up. So I decided to go for my shower and wash my hair, trim my legs. I need to do to part my hair properly there before it dries. Um, and when I came down, the laundry was on. There was tumble dryer and the, and the washing machine on. When I was trying to make my phone ring, and I couldn't hear it over everything. And guess where my phone was? In my handbag. <laughs> because you know, that's really not where a phone would be. Uh, when I was on the in the landing, mopping, I probably just put it, sorry, on top of the handbag, and it fell in. I don't know. It can't stop. Um, and uh, yeah, I found it. I found it. Anyway, I'm gonna put my last load of laundry on and I'm gonna film my video. I'm gonna towel dry my hair and sorry in advance, you're gonna have to bear with me with wet hair for that video. It's the summer, as you can see from the outside of this house, not. <laughs> um, and then I will do all my editing and I'll do the kitchen after. I can do the kitchen even when the boys are asleep, so it's not a not a big deal. Um, but yeah, so I'm getting there. I am getting there. It is half three, so I still have about three and a half hours before the boys are back. So plenty of time. I am so pleased with myself today. I'm getting there. I'm getting to the point now where it's almost finished, but I'm fed up. But I need to continue until I'm done. So I have two suitcases completely done. Owens and Alfie's are completely done. Mine, well, it's packed. The only thing I'm missing is a few makeup items. I have my clothes for tomorrow. Uh, James's is also finished, but we're going to put the cables from like the laptop charger and all that there. I need to pack James's um, hand luggage. He's carrying the change of clothes for all of us in there. Uh, mine is actually really full. Oh, there's drapes arriving now. Mine is really full because I am bringing my ukulele 
for a surprise thing. <laughs> and uh, I have all the rest in there is medical equipment. And there's more medical equipment. <laughs> and then I have just a smaller... It's actually a wash bag, but I use it for... I just take that out of my bag for the plane. It has like my tablet and a book and my glasses, my headphones. You know, just the things I need and my like battery, portable battery. Uh, Alfie's bag for now only has his headphones, some nappies. I need to add wipes and the tablet. Owens has the headphones, the snacks, his glasses. And I need to add the tablet and the DS. And this is the boys' clothes for tomorrow. I need to print the boarding passes and stuff. I have the last things charging. I'm going to back up my computer and then I can finish to close the suitcases. And James is on holidays. <laughs> and they're both asleep. Seriously? Oh well, okay. I guess I take it off you didn't have a nap. Oh wait, I need to make Owen's bed. <laughs> I haven't made Owen's bed. I'm gonna make Owen's bed now. The boys are in bed and the beds are all made. I'm now gonna sit down, have my food, watch some TV and relax a bit. I'm feeling very, very tired. I'm it a little bit today but at least I can have some time to sit down tonight I still need to do some editing and um, back up some pictures and stuff but I can do that while I'm relaxing on the couch so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna end this vlog here and I will see you in the morning everybody cross their fingers that we can all fly and Alfie does not wake up covered in spots anyway see you in the morning bye <laughs>